Welcome back and welcome to Abhinaya. Our pretty hostess here is Ms. Navya Nanda, who not only excels in academia, but is a super talented young lady. Being a dancer, today she brings a renowned dance teacher to our studios. Her good name is Mrs. Lakshmi Swaminathan. She's actually no stranger to GTV as you've seen her on our screen many, many times before. Lakshmi Ji is a director of Natanjali School of Dance located in Bethesda, Maryland. Let's hear the conversation, the dialogue between Ms. Nanda and Mrs. Swaminathan. Namaskar, this is Navya Nanda again for another edition of Abhinaya, the Soul of Dance on Women's Worldview. Today in our studio, we have Mrs. Lakshmi Swaminathan, a famous dance teacher in the area, and she teaches Bharatanatyam, a traditional Indian classical dance. It's an honor and privilege to have you in the studio today, Lakshmi Aunty. It's my pleasure entirely, Navya. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, I've seen many of your students perform in the past, and they've performed really, really well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So today, uh, I just wanted to get a feel of what Bharatanatyam is all about and how, how did you get interested in this dance form and what, what was your journey from your childhood to now with dance? Uh, I started learning dance when I was four years old. My mother was very passionate about wanting uh, to teach her daughter how to dance and that is how my journey into dance began. I have been dancing ever since and it's mm -hmm. been uh, a journey that has uh, really inspired me. Yeah, definitely. I, I completely understand. I dance as well, too. I learn uh, Odyssey from uh, Chitra Anti, and it's been a wonderful and rewarding experience for me as well. So I completely understand how dance is so rewarding, and it's a great way to relax and keep your mind fresh. As you said, you said <laughs> it best. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, what is, where has Bhartanatyam originated? Where, has it, where did it come from? Bharatanatyam originated in the southern part of India, what is called uh, present-day Tamil Nadu. It is a centuries-old uh, dance tradition. It uh, originated in temples, actually. Uh -huh. And uh, we follow the uh, text called Natya Shastra. And most of the Indian classical dance forms actually uh, base their foundation on this text. Uh, but we do actually follow closely Abhinay Darpana, another text that was written in the uh, approximately 11th century AD. And uh, uh, I would like to say that Bharatanatyam is perhaps one of the most popular Indian classical dance forms that we have today. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very widespread and a lot of people know what Bharatanatyam is uh, throughout the country and throughout the world. So uh, it's the, the Bharatanatyam costumes are so beautiful. Would you be able to briefly describe uh, what they consist of and what the dancers wear when they're performing on stage? Absolutely. The costumes are usually made from uh, Kanjivaram Sari mm -hmm. and uh, the costume can be made into a pajama style where you wear kind of like pants or it could be skirt type. Skirt models are also quite uh, popular nowadays. The jewelry that the dancer uses is called uh, temple jewelry. They are made of mm -hmm. semi-precious stones called kemp stones uh -huh. and uh, you have the talasaman that is the uh, Neti Chutti and uh, Jimiki Martel. We have the choker, we have a long necklace, the belt to emphasize your waist, waist bangles, yes. and of course, uh, bells. Uh, Indian classical dance is incomplete without bells. Mm -hmm. And of course, the dancer also has elaborate makeup that she uses, um, emphasizes the eyes a lot, mm -hmm. and we have. Uh, Alta that we have on our hands and feet because yes. we use our hands and feet a lot in dance, so it uh, emphasizes that. Uh -huh. So in Bhatnatyam, the jewelry that the dancers wear is gold? It is not oh. actually gold, it's mm -hmm. actually made out of silver, but oh, okay. it is coated with gold. Oh, okay, I didn't know that before. <laughs> yes. That's, that's interesting to know. In Odyssey, also, we use. So all silver jewelry. Yes, that is the difference here. In yes. uh, Bharatanatyam, it is gold tone, uh -huh. whereas in uh, Odyssey, you have silver jewelry. Yes, as a, that's Chitra Anti described in the last segment of uh, Abhinaya. Yes. Uh, so Bharatanatyam is a very unique type of dance. So what is this? Uh, it's, I've heard that it's also a little bit, they have a lot of similarities with Kuchipudi as well. Um, so what, what makes Bharatanatyam what differentiates it from other classical other dances? Other classical dances, um, Bharatanatyam has only uh, a straight standing posture or uh, dvibhangi. We do not have tribhangi like okay. you. Okay. 
So we are, uh, the nritta is very geometric mm -hmm. and we have a lot of bends and angles and we use different hand gestures and footwork. Mm -hmm. In Kuchipudi, you would find a slightly more circular motion of the torso and okay. more rounded movements and it is much more of a faster pace than Bharatanatyam is. Okay, so, so faster speed in Kuchipudi uh, as opposed to Bharatanatyam. Oh, that's very interesting actually. I, I've seen a lot of uh, Bharatanatyam performances and all of these like melas and all these uh, cultural shows that happen in the area mm -hmm. and the dancers dance really well and they, they do have a lot of angular moments, movements when they uh, dance. Yes, that is a uh, speciality, very typical. Yeah, very typical of Bharatanatyam. Okay, that sounds great. Um, so this show is specifically called Abhinaya. Mm -hmm. So how is Abhinaya incorporated into Bharatanatyam? Abhinaya is literally the art of expression. It is how the dancer carries forward the mood or the bhava that is there in the song which she's performing to. So Abhinaya, I personally feel is very individualistic. It cannot really be taught because every person has their own way of expressing and a lot of their personality comes forth in how they express as well. Um, as you know, mm -hmm. we have four major kinds of Abhinaya, Angika, Vachika, Sattvika and Aharya. Mm -hmm. So we use in Angika a lot of different body movements, yes. eye movements, eyebrow movements, lip movements mm -hmm. and uh, hand gestures, Pada Bhedas, Shiro yes. Bhedas and all the different Bhedas of uh -huh. course. In Vachika Abhinaya in Bharatanatyam comes from the singer, the vocalist. Okay. The Bharatanatyam dancer does not sing or lip movements are a complete um, no-no, mm -hmm. which you will find in Kuchipudi. Okay. They do lip sync. Mm -hmm. uh, Aharya, of course, we discussed in the earlier question mm -hmm. about the costume and jewelry. Yes. And Sattvika is where it comes from experience and within the dancer, which is so I in your the soul? most important part okay. of it. As you said, Abhinaya, the soul of dance. Yes, yes, definitely. And Abhinaya is important to all of the classical Indian dances or any dance forms at all. Yes. Or actually in anything you do, like you should always express yourself in any form. I totally agree with <laughs> you. I totally agree with you. Yes. Yes. Oh my. Yeah, Abhinaya is very important to dance. Uh, so one of your students will be performing a small demo to the yes. other show. Since Would you like is, to describe? Yes, since it is Abhinaya, she is going to show a small excerpt from Varnam, which actually is a Sanchari. It tells the story of Kalidasa, where he is an illiterate woodcutter. One of the um, palace attendants comes and takes him to his palace. He is awed by the splendor of the palace. He is awed by the princess and he cannot believe his good luck that he gets to marry the princess. He marries her and he's taking her with him when the princess realizes how ignorant he is and that she's been actually wedded to a fool. She's very, very sad and mm -hmm. unhappy. So she bursts into tears but soon realizes she has to step forward and do something about it. Wow. So she takes him to the temple of Kali and beseeches the goddess to do something about it. The fierce mm -hmm. goddess, of course, becomes compassionate and blesses Kalidasa with wow. knowledge, wisdom, intellect and writings. And we are all familiar with Kalidasa's writings, so, aren't we? Yes. Uh, so all of these expressions will be portrayed in this dance? Hopefully, yes, by my <laughs> student Trisha Sankineni. That sounds wonderful. So I guess we should watch the demo. Tamma Aranda Dai Di Akar Ukar Matar Rubi Tamma Aranda Dai Di Akar Magara Rubini Amma 
ಪೂಕಾರ ಮಕಾರ ರೂಪಿಣಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ಆನಂದದಾಯಿನಿ ಅಕಾರ ಮುಕಾರ ಮಕಾರ ರೂಪಿಣಿ ಅಮ್ಮ ಆನಂದದಾಯಿನಿ ಅಕಾರ Lakshmi Aunty, it's been a great pleasure and honor to be able to interview you and be able to meet such a wonderful dance teacher like you. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for your wonderful compliments and I thoroughly enjoyed my experience with you. <laughs> Thank you so much. This concludes this edition of Abhinaya. Hope you all enjoyed this edition as much as you enjoyed the last one. Till then, keep cool because it's summer out there and make sure that you keep dancing because it's going to keep you happy and healthy for life. Hope to see you all next edition and this is Navya Nanda signing off. Namaskar. <laughs>